Prince Harry's Spare will be released in paperback on October 22nd. For months, the British media has been trying out storylines about a potential paperback edition of Prince Harry's Spare. The Daily Mail has been especially focused on it, wondering aloud why Spare has not been released in paperback, and suggesting that Harry's publisher is unhappy about something. On the other side, the Sussex squad has repeatedly claimed that there were no plans for a paperback. It just shows that the Sussexes are doing their own thing, irrespective of the gossip on both sides. The Sussex squad, a fervent group of supporters for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, has always been vocal about their unwavering support for the couple. They have consistently stood by the Sussexes, defending them against any negative press or rumours that circulate in the media. This group, which has grown significantly in numbers over the years, is known for its passionate advocacy and its commitment to countering any misinformation about the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The Sussex squad's stance on the matter of the paperback edition is just one example of their dedication. They have made it clear that, as far as they are concerned, there were never any plans for a paperback release of the couple's projects. This assertion is not just a casual statement. It is a reflection of their deep trust in Harry and Meghan's decisions and their belief that the couple is charting their own course, free from the constraints and expectations of traditional royal duties. The Sussex squad's gatherings and protests are a testament to their solidarity and their determination to support Harry and Meghan. These events are often marked by a sense of camaraderie and a shared purpose. Supporters come together, not just to show their support, but to actively engage in discussions and activities that promote the couple's causes and initiatives. Whether it's advocating for mental health awareness, supporting charitable endeavours, or simply countering negative narratives, the Sussex squad is always at the forefront. Their presence on social media is also significant. The Sussex squad uses various platforms to spread positive messages about Harry and Meghan, to debunk false stories, and to rally support for the couple's various projects. They are a powerful force online, often trending hashtags and creating viral content that highlights the positive impact of the Sussex's work. In essence, the Sussex squad's stance is a reflection of their belief in Harry and Meghan's vision for their future. They see the couple as trailblazers who are redefining what it means to be a modern royal. By supporting them, the Sussex squad is not just backing two individuals. They are endorsing a new way of thinking about royalty, one that is more independent, more progressive, and more in tune with contemporary values. In conclusion, the Sussex squad's unwavering support for Harry and Meghan is a powerful reminder of the impact that dedicated supporters can have. Their commitment to countering gossip and misinformation, their active engagement in promoting positive narratives, and their belief in the couple's vision for the future, all contribute to a broader understanding of what it means to support modern royalty. The Sussex squad is not just a group of fans, they are a movement, one that is helping to shape the narrative around Harry and Meghan in a meaningful and impactful way. So, Spare is coming out in paperback in October. Penguin Random House just announced it. The link provided is to pre-order the paperback edition. So far, Random House isn't saying anything about new chapters. The publishing giant has been tight-lipped about any potential updates or additions to the book. This has left fans and readers in a state of suspense, eagerly waiting for any news or announcements, or anything like that. So, I don't know. The silence from Random House has only fueled speculation and curiosity. People are wondering if there might be some behind-the-scenes negotiations, or if perhaps there are legal considerations at play. The lack of information has led to a lot of guesswork and theories. The book, as is, stands up without any kind of updates. It has already made a significant impact, capturing the attention of readers worldwide. The stories and revelations within its pages have sparked conversations and debates, making it a bestseller. But I genuinely hope Harry has added a new chapter at the end with some new gossip. Imagine the excitement and buzz that would generate. Fans would flock to bookstores, eager to get their hands on the updated edition. It would be a brilliant move, keeping the momentum going and giving readers even more to talk about. Adding a new chapter could also provide deeper insights into Harry's life and experiences since the book's initial release. It could address recent events, share new anecdotes, or offer reflections on the public's reaction to the book. This would not only satisfy the curiosity of readers, but also add a fresh layer of depth to the narrative. Book clubs and discussion groups would have even more material to dissect and analyse. The new chapter could spark renewed interest and bring in new readers who might have missed the initial release. 
it would be a win-win situation for both the author and the publisher. Social media would undoubtedly explode with reactions and reviews. Hashtags related to the book would trend, and online communities would buzz with excitement. The new chapter could become a hot topic, with people sharing their thoughts and opinions, creating a vibrant and dynamic conversation. For Prince Harry, this could be an opportunity to further connect with his audience. By sharing more of his story, he could build a stronger bond with his readers and fans. It would show that he is willing to be open and transparent, which could enhance his public image and endear him to even more people. Of course, writing a new chapter is no small feat. It requires time, effort, and creativity. Harry would need to carefully consider what to include and how to present it. The new content would need to seamlessly integrate with the existing narrative, maintaining the book's tone and style. The publishing team at Random House would also play a crucial role in this process. They would need to ensure that the new chapter meets the high standards of the original book. This could involve multiple rounds of editing, design adjustments, and marketing strategies to promote the updated edition. Once the new chapter is ready, the excitement would shift to the bookstores. A new edition sign would catch the eye of customers, drawing them in. The updated book would likely see a surge in sales, with both new and returning readers eager to explore the additional content. Ultimately, the addition of a new chapter could enhance the overall reading experience. It would provide closure for some, new insights for others, and a sense of satisfaction for all. Readers would appreciate the effort to keep the story alive and relevant, making the book a cherished addition to their collection. Whether or not a new chapter is added, the book as it stands has already made its mark. But the possibility of more content keeps the anticipation alive. It's a testament to the power of storytelling and the connection between an author and their audience. We can only wait and see what the future holds. Currently, the British media has gone back to the storyline of Harry is desperate to reconcile with his family. This narrative has been a recurring theme in the tabloids and news channels across the UK. Every time there is a new development in the royal saga, the media jumps on it, dissecting every detail and speculating endlessly about the implications. The British public, with its insatiable appetite for royal drama, eagerly consumes these stories, fueling the media frenzy even further. The latest twist in this ongoing saga is no different. Headlines scream about Harry's supposed desperation to mend fences with his father, Prince Charles, and his brother, Prince William. News anchors discuss the potential for a royal reunion, analysing body language and past statements to predict the future. At newsstands, magazines with the royal family on the cover fly off the shelves as people seek to understand the latest chapter in this never-ending story. That storyline will be blown up by this news. The revelation that Harry has allowed the paperback edition of his controversial memoir to go through has sent shockwaves through the media. Newsrooms are abuzz with the latest updates as journalists scramble to cover every angle of the story. TV screens flash breaking news banners and commentators weigh in with their opinions. The narrative of reconciliation is now overshadowed by this new development, as the media shifts its focus to the potential fallout. What does this mean for Harry's relationship with his family? Will this be the final straw that breaks the camel's back? The questions are endless and the speculation is rampant. How dare Harry allow the paperback to go through, they exclaim. The tabloids are filled with negative headlines, accusing Harry of betrayal and selfishness. People on the streets and in cafes discuss his actions, with opinions divided. Some sympathise with Harry, understanding his desire to tell his side of the story. Others are outraged, seeing this as yet another example of Harry putting his own interests above those of his family. The media amplifies these voices, creating a cacophony of opinions and emotions. Harry's serious demeanour in public appearances only adds to the intrigue, as people try to read between the lines and understand his true feelings. Now Charles and William will never forgive him. The images of Prince Charles looking upset and Prince William looking disappointed are splashed across the front pages of newspapers and magazines. The royal family is depicted in serious discussions, with expressions of concern and frustration. The media speculates about the impact of Harry's actions on his relationships with his father and brother. Will they ever be able to move past this? The narrative of reconciliation seems more distant than ever, as the media paints a picture of a family torn apart by betrayal and mistrust. The British public watches with bated breath, waiting to see what will happen next in this royal drama.
Maureen aka Eden and Rebecca English look a bit silly now, don't they? Not that will stop them from publishing more bullshit and calling it journalism.